Oh, Mike, what are we doing? Um, so, wow. <laughs> we are, uh, so morning, morning of day one. Morning of day one, nobody's even, they haven't even let no, the gates in. they have to let the dogs out yet. Yeah. Um, now, Lifestyle Overland's break it already. <laughs> I mean, this is great. All right, are we ready? Hey, you guys. I'm here with my good friend, Kevin. How's the show for you, Kevin? It's awesome. I've known of this little project for many, for many years. Yeah. It is so good to see it here. If you guys want to know more about Lifestyle Overland, of course, go check them out. They're awesome. What do we got here, Kevin? What is, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, so this is a 1980 Toyota Land Cruiser. It was originally a diesel unit, but this one has got a little bit of an upgrade. We'll get to that here in just a second. Yep. I've actually owned this for eight years, right after Caroline was born. Right. We, we picked this puppy up. One incredible opportunity. Yeah. And uh, so we've been slowly working on this for eight years behind the scenes, just as we get time yeah. and funds and things uh -huh. like that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's time. It's time for the beast to come out of its lair. Cool. Start getting shaked down and, yeah. and, and finishing out all the other systems. So you guys finally rolled it out. Now, you, did you, did you uh, finish it just in time? I know it's not finished, finished, but did, right. you, did you get it to, to the point where you could do a shakedown just before the, the expo here? Yeah, actually the drive here was the shakedown. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you think we can start this thing up and listen to it? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Contact. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, you don't expect to hear that in a troopie. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, when very you're going cool. down the highway and you just want to yep. lay into it, yep. thing, it just growls and you're gone. Yep, very, very cool. All right, Kevin, hey, thank you for talking with us for a few Absolutely. minutes. I look forward to, to spending some time on the trail with you. Let's do it. Oh, we can talk yeah. You're rolling, the camera's rolling. Adam, what's going on? Uh, How are not you much. Doing? It's uh, the start of West and it's typical chaos. Yeah. Well, good it to started, see we're you. not set up yet, but I'm stoked that you're here. I know, I popped yeah. in and said, hey, let's talk about stuff. Yeah. I love your gear. Thank you. You know that your yeah. your bag um, will be roll it. Your bag is in is a staple in the back of my rig. Right That's on. where we keep the, the kitchen stuff. So yeah. We, yeah, I love your stuff. Thank you. Talk to us about what you got for the show this yeah. time. Yeah, world premiere. Great. It'll be this is exclusive for you guys. No one's seen the stuff yet, so of course uh, it's for you guys. So then we'll then we'll show you that. <laughs> this is the tool roll, the pangolin, yep. and this is what we're most known for right now. Mm -hmm. It's basically a tool bag and a tool roll in one. Yep. When you're all done, it rolls into what is the attached bags. So Coming awesome. this way, we this oh, is the tortoise. Just so you guys get yeah. a tool roll. I mean, you guys might have a tool box, yeah. but you got to get a tool roll because that's just the most convenient way to store your tools in this compact. Yeah. yeah. All awesome. right, what else we got? So this is the tortoise, the yep. toiletry bag. Uh -huh. uh, I wanted something that you could drop open and live out of it. You don't uh -huh. have a lot of workspace. Um, you don't need to take everything out. When you unzip it, and you see everything at once. It's, it's obvious just by looking at it. That is super easy to see everything. Cool. So we slide on down here. So this is the tech stuff. Yeah, this is the yeah, tech. Yeah, right so on. We've all got our gadgets. We've we all do. got our phones and our GoPros and our drones and our cables and our chargers. Yep. And a lot of pouches are smaller. So mm -hmm. we wanted to do a, a pouch that, um, it could be a standalone bag. And the new again, GoPro 10 yeah. just came out, right? So I got the 10. That's yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, there you go. All right, have a good day. What do you got um, next? I all mean, right, so, so many cool things. We got so much um, yeah. on the rack here. Yeah. So this is this is wor world premiere for you guys and yep. you, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a chameleon, right? So this this right. never been seen. Um, this is it close up down here. Wow. It, it originally design started to be a camp kitchen. We we okay. wanted a camp kitchen, yep. and then and then in our testing we found out for everyone's camp kitchen this doesn't work but you might have tech, you might have radios. The chameleon is, uh -huh. is what we ended up naming it. Chameleon obviously can change yep. its look, whatever. Yep. And so we've got this one set up, um, kind of starting to get set up as a camp kitchen, but uh -huh. this is removable on the back. So you could put a pouch or molly panels or something. Right, very cool. Um, and then you got three zippered pockets here. And looking at the, I mean, I'm just looking at the back of it. It looks like it's highly configurable. Um, this is, this is our, this is kind of, um, this is our jam now, right? So everyone loves yep. Velcro, right? Yep. We got Velcro, you're sticking yep. stuff together, yep. and everyone's got Molly, right? Right. No one's ever merged the two together. 
That's crazy. Okay, so what we've got is one wrap. This is, uh -huh. it's hook on one side, loop on the other. Okay. It's, a, it's the Molly spacing, so it's a Molly grid made right. out of one wrap. Yep. So now you basically have like wings here, right? Ooh. And <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> There's one more if you want to see it. Show it. Let's okay. see it. Yeah. We'll do this one real quick. So this this monster gear back here, basically, a lot of us we had just have a ton of gear, right? Yep. This allows you with this zipper design. Now you're not going into a black hole. It's easily. This yep. is full of recovery gear. Right? So I yep. got multiple straps in here. I'm able to easily stack it up. What you're able to do is, depending on your load. Yeah, that is awesome. Right? So this one's pretty full. Yep. That's Holy a lot cow. of gear. That's a lot of gear. That's a lot of gear, right? Yeah. Adam, so, thanks for taking the time awesome. today. Awesome. Thank, really thanks for coming it. out. Yeah, thanks yeah, for, absolutely. And thank you guys for yeah. watching. <laughs>
oh, you know, could there be something better, but still, you know, keep this kind of nimble freedom that, that right. we experienced. Right. So, that. so the nimbleness, lightweight, super rugged, especially with bombing through the desert, it's got to be bulletproof, all those things, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. we kind of looked at some different materials and how we would do that. And it became pretty clear early on that carbon fiber was really the only choice. Yep. Because we wanted to integrate a lot of features. We wanted solar, lighting, fan, heat, integrated battery bank. So yep. we wanted all this stuff, which all adds up to more weight. Right. So we had to get the shell as light as humanly possible. Tell me a little bit about what this includes. Okay. Right. Th yeah. So there are some differentiators, right? You see, there are tents and there are tents. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So, so this tell is, us about the differentiators. We say the kind of similarities with a tent kind of uh, end with the shape and then it mounts on top of a car. Right. But other than that, you know, we call it a camper. So we call it uh -huh. a rooftop camper. Um, so it's fully insulated. So it's right. uh, foam core in all the walls. So insulated ceiling, insulated walls, mm -hmm. dual pane polycarbonate windows. Mm -hmm. So those are insulated. You know, we, we wanted to, we had that rooftop tent. We loved how open an area it was. So we wanted right. to keep that. Um, and not build just a hard-sided coffin, for lack of a better word. Right. So we wanted it to be open and airy. So we we're like, oh, what if we made the back wall all windows? We we're like, sweet. But then we we're like, oh, that's really heavy. Right. Um, right. So we had to figure out a way to make a window that was light enough. So we invented our own windows and, mm -hmm. and made it lightweight enough. Um, so you, we could have this open, awesome, airy experience, right. even in inclement weather and cold weather. Um, we wanted it fully four season, so again, that's where the, there's a little diesel heater. That's where that comes on in, into the equation. We can heat this thing, we can ski out of it, we can yeah. use it you know, whenever we want. Yeah, cool. Um, the other thing we, which was really important to us was a quick setup and breakdown. So the, the rooftop tent we had set up super quick, but putting it down was a little bit of a chore, yep. tucking canvas and that sort of thing. So this sets up in under 30 seconds, breaks down in under 30 seconds. Right. You can keep all your bedding in it. So that's, so, so people looking for a rooftop tent for the first time, um, might not be aware of the setup and takedown. Sure. Yeah. 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 Process. Right. Because. It's a great concept. Oh, I can just park and I just pop it up. And yeah. when I'm ready to go, I just fold it up and I'm bombing down the trail. But that's not really the reality, totally. right? It takes, like you said, tuck and canvas. And if you have one of the, the shells that open up like that, it takes a lot of totally. tucking and folding. So looking I mean, at how this is constructed, it's all so solid panel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it just, it just folds down. Folds down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's super easy, super nice. Great. Um, my wife really had a hard time with mm -hmm. the the canvas one yeah. and would like draw blood commonly on the latches yep. like trying to wrestle it into place so it's 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 high end it's, it's a, this is a high end premium product super right. high end right. yeah i think there's a lot of really really great options in the rooftop tent space yep there doesn't need to be another one sub 5k you know what i mean there's, right there's a lot of great options people doing awesome stuff and if you right. want a tent you're covered like you've right. got right. you've got to figure it out so this is really um, for a different market. But we do it in three different levels. So we do a base, we do an ascent, and we do a summit. So the base mm -hmm. is the structure um, without any of the electronics. The ascent has some of the electronics. The summit has all the electronics and the heat. Got it. So we kind of have those different packages. We range from that smaller unit, base is 19,500, up to this one, which is 34,500. And this right. is the summit, fully kitted out. Yep. So this one you're looking at 330 watts of solar, uh, 60 amp hour lithium battery bank. Mm -hmm. It's got a little S-bar diesel heater in it, mm -hmm. inverter so you can charge your drone batteries, camera, laptop, USB ports, dimmable interior, exterior lighting. You control it all with your phone so you can turn on your outside lights from the driver's seat. Um, very cool. All right, so people can find out more about it at Redtail Overland, right? Yep, um, redtailoverland.com. We're yep. Instagram, uh, Redtail Overland. Great. Uh, yeah, all TikTok the and cool. Facebook and all of it. Yeah. Cool. Right on. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, I man. really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah likewise. It's great yeah. setup. Great setup. Hey, guys, I'm super excited. So, believe it or not, this Overland Expo is the first time I've gotten to see the Big Bronco in person, and, and I'm excited to talk to you about it. This is David. He is staff 
with the Bronco Nation. Now, we worked with the Bronco Nation early on mm -hmm. uh, to, to develop the community. They are focused on the Bronco community. So old Bronco, new Bronco, but y you guys have an awesome community that's growing quickly. Yeah. Um, you want to tell me anything about that? Yeah, you can find us at thebroncoNation.com. Overland Bound was a huge help for us yeah. for um, showing us like how these sorts are, of communities yep. can work and how yep. it uh, how it can all come together. Yeah. So you guys big, are doing thank it you right, guys. So this is the Badlands edition, yeah. right? So for the folks out there, you guys have seen the Broncos are starting to be out there in the wild now. Of course, um, tell us about some of the specifics of the Badlands edition. Yeah, yeah. So. For the 2021 Bronco, Badlands is usually referred to as the most capable of the trims. Yep. So what you get with Badlands is a lot of the off-road goodies um, yep. standard. So steel bumpers front and back standard, mm -hmm. rock rail standard, under vehicle skid plates standard, and then sway bar disconnect and front and rear lockers, a few right. other things like that. Right. So this thing's coming from Ford. Uh, ready to go for some pretty intense trail stuff. And it really is. So like, you know, early on, um, as soon as there was an announcement for the Bronco, you know, I, I, I pulled out my little checklist and I was like, okay, approach angle, departure angle, breakover angle, tire size, yeah. suspension, rock rails. I'm like, it's a really impressive rig right off the line. Yeah, yeah. it does really well. It comes standard with the 33 inch tires. Yep. Um, these are the upgraded wheels that we have on this one. Uh -huh. But, of course, you can add the 35s right. and all well, that to it later, too. Dave, this is the, these are the upgrade, uh, upgraded wheels, but you guys have not been treating this Bronco nicely, no, have you? No, I mean, <laughs> the way most people would do. Evan, so I'm walking by here and I see uh, uh, a way to start grilling fast. That's tell, right. Tell me what you got. What's going on? This here? is Hitch Fire. This is yeah. uh, the first, you know, purpose-built hitch-mounted propane grill. Yeah. So it, it basically mounts to any two-inch hitch receiver. That's not on. Oh, it is on. Sorry. It is. Yeah, it's on. Don't, don't touch four, it. Don't I see touch 400. It. Yeah, yeah. Don't maybe maybe. <laughs> 400 yeah. degrees. I turn that off. It here. works. It's got a swing arm right here uh, that deploys out at either sort of 90 or 180 or sort of anywhere in between that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And oh, it, so you can adjust the angle a bit. Yeah, you can adjust this angle. This isn't locked right now. There is a little locking pin, so if you want to lock it at an angle, oh, you can. Oh, that's really nice, actually. But, you know, that's you can really kind cool. of, and then you can turn this 360 yep. degrees. Or yep. And then kind of find your right set up there. Cool. Well, hey, thank you very much. Really appreciate you sharing. And, and yeah. like I said, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll stop by tomorrow and, and see what you got on the grill. That sounds great. All right, right All on. Right. Thanks, Evan. Sounds good. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, you guys. These highlights videos are brought to you by our community software app, Overland Bound 1, free on iOS and Android, community, trips and events, and map resources all for free. Layers, MVM, places to camp, all that kind of stuff. We're always adding new stuff to it, so go and download Overland Bound 1 on iOS and Android. All right, let's get back to it. Hey, you guys, I'm here with Rob, Overland Gear Guy. Right. Yeah, and so Parnell and I, we, we, we put the last screw in our kitchen and uh, Rob is making the cover for it. Rob, tell us a little bit about some of the things that you do. What does Overland Gear Guy do? Okay, well, I mean, we, we basically um, give solutions to, to stuff like this, to yep. storage solutions to, you know, from vans to Jeeps, um, Toyotas, everything. Um, because when, when we're doing this, everything is, is just has to have its place. Right. Otherwise, you're, you're spending hours looking for you know stuff that you don't need to. Yeah. And so we make you know bags with custom labels, custom colors, uh, and obviously you know right custom on. things for like this kitchen oh, yeah. and, and stuff like that. Right. Well, you and I had a lot of dialogue yeah. about about how this needed to be, and now this is a prototype, right? So right. We do the prototype over it. We're getting the sizing correct, exactly. and then we'll do another iteration and yep. lock it in there, right? You betcha. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it, and it's it's a little difficult. Not not seeing exactly how it's it's all put together. Now right. that I'm here and I can see how it's on there, it's like okay, yep. you know, now we can fine tune it and, and, and get the finished product. Out. Right on, so, right on. Well, it looks great so far. Even the front side. Yeah, great. Right yeah, thanks a lot. You betcha. See, I didn't I need you to tell me. I appreciate you doing that. I am in sales and I'm miserable with names. I did remember yours though. I did Michael. remember. I did remember that. Are we rolling? So right on. Hey, you guys. I'm here with Ian from Decked, and you guys, the guy behind the camera right there is Michael Social Pants. He's got a deck system, and so I actually helped this guy build his deck system and put it in the back of his Raptor. Because he needed it, or? 
Because he needed the yeah, help. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so put it, so having firsthand experience with yep. the deck system, um, it's freaking awesome. It's yeah. a great solution. It is, yeah. it is, you know, um, for the guys and gals that are overlanding, they're working out their vehicles, it's yep. really a great solution where you're not, you're not sacrificing storage for the usability of the pickup. Right. You know, you have the secure, weatherproof, ergonomic storage underneath, but every system that's 12 inches tall spans the whole width of the bed. So you're not yep. worried about what you're gonna be able to do and not do, because you don't yep. have to worry about that wheel well. And but. it's, you know, I mean, in terms of the construction, it's really heavy duty. Mm -hmm. These are really nice to slide out. Yep. You know, and then you get access. Um, see, I do have firsthand experience, so I sound, I sound like Ian. <laughs> And I'm not even a salesperson for Perfect. Jack. Perfect. We're hired. But <laughs> but you get full access to the back of the back of the drawer. They slide all the way out. Exactly. And really, that really you know cool. um, part of that access is being able to retain the 200 pound capacity per drawer. Yeah. Because that that is a number that a lot of people get to whether it's recovery equipment, you know, Overland gear. Yeah. You know, that is a pretty stout weight capacity. Yeah. But you can see how smooth that rolls. It's very cool. Awesome. Good setup. Ian, thank you. Michael, really appreciate, appreciate your time, it. guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hey guys, I'm here with Mark, uh, Monster Hooks Inc. And I walked by your uh, your stand here and, and saw the wide variety of things. I saw this double hook uh, uh, here. This is very intriguing. Um, I'm looking for a hook system for, for my, uh, for, for my uh, rig. I know that a closed system is, is, is more safe um, if you have the time. But I prefer to have something on there that is just a little bit simpler to use. A little simpler to use right away. Still safe, right? Yeah. Maybe we can talk about some of your products here and how they're rated. And Absolutely. Yeah. So, first of all, everything that we manufacture on the aluminum side starts off with a forged American piece of aluminum. Right? Yep. It's a, it's a big piece of billet. We machine them. There's a second operation, machine them to, to what we like them, to the specifics. Yep. Um, and finish with a final product there. Right on. Um, everything's machined in-house, locally, uh -huh. in the States. Um, we then send it out to a facility in, in Ohio, like you see here. This is our 2.5 inch hitch, which yep. is for your bigger trucks, you know, 2,500 and above. And we send them out to be tested, rated, certified. So this one here, as you can see, it failed at 54,000 pounds. Wow. Um, that way we could safely rate it at 20,000 pounds. Half turn. There you go. That is it. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So this is a new locking pin for shackles. A lot yep. of times shackles end up missing for the people that leave them on their vehicles, you know? Yep. Um, so we created a solution just to help that out. I think that's still loose though. Yep. So very cool. Those are that's our steel version line. We also have a, an extreme recovery hook here. Mm -hmm. This is a solid forging, so it's one piece, no welds. When you really want to get serious and be able to use something without damaging the rope, it's yeah. real easy to use. You just get it in there and snap it on and you're gonna get no failure out what, of that. What's the rating on that? That is rated at 20,000 pounds and it's been tested at 80,000 pounds. Got it. And Got that's it. the smaller brother, because we do have a bigger one for some of the earth movers too. And we didn't even bring that one out. <laughs> right on. We didn't even right bring on. that one out. Very cool. So. Yeah, right on. Thank you. Hey, Mark, thanks a lot. Really appreciate Thank it. Really so. appreciate it.